Hi guys and welcome to today's video. It's going to be a swatches and a sort of first impressions, not a review as such, um, on OPI Infinite Shine. Um, OPI Nails UK sent me this package and um, so I thought I'd sort of sh show you what they sent me, tell you what I think of it so far. Um, so this is sort of what it came in. If you don't know, sort of Infinite Shine is a new product by OPI. It's a normal nail polish, it's not gel polish, but it has um, sort of gel-like effects, but without having to use a lamp to cure or to soak off for a removal. So sort of the application and the removal process is exactly like normal nail polish, um, but, but they've brought it out so that it lasts up to 10 days. So obviously it's a really nice package that they sent me, a lovely box. So let's open it up. So obviously on the lid, you can kind of see, um, they've got all the bottles on the top of the lid. So the box is really, really nice. So this leaflet was inside, so I will go through that in a minute with you. So this is inside the package. So we've got here the primer, which is the base coat. We've got the top coat, which is called gloss over here. These were the three colours they sent me. Um, I didn't pick these colours, they've just sent me these randomly. And also you've got a little expert touch lacquer remover at the bottom and also there's a tiny chip skip uh, top coat up here so I'll sort of run through all of those in a minute once I've gone through the leaflet so this is the leaflet that you get so and it's got sort of all the information in it tells you um, you know what it's all about um, the next page tells you how to apply, um, so obviously you use your primer, you've got your lacquer and then you've got your gloss. And then on this page we've got all of the colours. Then we've got some frequently asked questions at the back here. Um, which is very good for sort of troubleshooting or things like that. Um, tells you how long to wait between each coat, things like that. So in the leaflet, um, it tells you that you need to wait two minutes after your second coat of lacquer before you put on your top coat. Um, it tells you down here, how long does Infinite Shine take to dry? It says it's touch dry in eight minutes and completely in 15. Um, I found, I mean I've got one of the colours on now, I found mine was actually touch dry within four minutes. I mean they're completely dry now but I could touch them within four minutes. So obviously it's telling you eight minutes I suppose if it's a bit warmer outside I'm not sure. Um, there's things like here, can it be applied over acrylics and gel enhancement? Obviously yes that's what I've got mine over is acrylics. So yeah, so what I'll do is um, we'll open this, we'll get some of the colours out and the bottles and stuff and show you. So here are all the bottles out of the packaging. So obviously they're the same sort of size as a normal OPI nail polish. Um, obviously there's a bit of a difference to the actual sort of packaging. Um, and we've got this lovely sort of chrome silver top. Um, but all in all, they're really, really nice bottles. Um, I was very impressed with how they looked and felt. Um, the brush sizes are very good as well. They're sort of the normal OPI size, which means that it's all easy to apply. So what I did was I just um, applied one coat of the primer, waited for that to sort of dry, and it sort of goes matte. Um, so that was the base. Then obviously with all of the polishes um, I did two coats but really they are so opaque you could probably only do one coat if you wanted. Um, I found that they were absolutely fantastic to apply and obviously very very shiny as well. So and then obviously I waited the full two minutes for the second coat of lacquer to dry and then went in with my gloss top coat um, and like I said it was literally touch dry within four minutes 
and obviously now it's all completely dry and you can see how nice and shiny it is as well so these were the three colors that I got sent they um, were randomly selected for me I didn't choose these um, so the first one we've got is can't be beat which is this sort of dark red color then we have it never ends which is this sort of nudie taupe color Finally, she went on and on and on, which is sort of like a corally pink colour. So all in all, it was really, really good product. I was very, very impressed. Um, if you want to see maybe a wear test, I'll have to do it on someone else because my nails won't stay like this for very long because obviously with being a nail tech, coming into contact with um, acetone and nail polish removal or things like that, they will not stay like this. But if you want to um, see a wear test, please comment down below and um, I'll try and find someone to do that for me. Um, I will leave all of the links down below for the Infinite um, Shine products from OPI Nails. So each bottle of OPI Infinite Shine is actually quite pricey. It's £13.95 and obviously in the um, leaflet packet it does say that um, if you used a normal OPI base and top coat the colours won't work with it. It's not because it's sort of a new sort of chemical reaction going on you need to have the primer and the right top coat that's what it says in the leaflet i mean you're welcome to go and try whatever you want but that's what the leaflet says so so yeah so they're £13.95 each so they are a little bit more expensive obviously than normal opi polish which is about £11.50 um but obviously if you're going to be getting 10 days wear out of it um, it's probably more worth it than just a normal nail polish that can sometimes last you five days so um, yeah that's my sort of little first impressions review on um, the OPI Infinite Shine I hope that you liked it please like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see a wear test and I will see you all again soon bye